Ministry of Human Resource Development, Area Intensive Program for Educationally Backward Minorities. The National Policy on Education 1986, updated in 1992, envisages paying greater attention to the education of the educationally backward minorities in the interest of equity and social justice. In pursuance of the revised program of action, POA 1992, two new centrally sponsored schemes were launched during 1993 and 94. These are Schemes of Area Intensive Program for Educationally Backward Minorities and Scheme of Financial Assistance for Modernization of Madrasa's Education. Implementing Agencies, State and Union Territory Governments and Voluntary Organizations, Target Group and Beneficiaries. Muslim community is covered at the national level. However, the state governments and union territory administrations may identify other groups which are educationally backward at the state and union territory level and take suitable measures for the upliftment on the same lines. Over a time, it has been felt that all these schemes needed to be implemented in an integrated way so as to have wider coverage, greater thrust and visibility of minority education program. In the 10th plan, the aforesaid two schemes have been merged to form the Area Intensive and Madarsas Modernization Program. The National Commission for Minority Educational Institutions 2004 has been set up by an Act of Parliament under which minority education institutions can seek affiliation to scheduled universities. University of Delhi, Northeastern Hill University, Pondicherry University, Assam University, Nagaland University and Mizoram University are at present in the schedule. Eligibility conditions. Voluntary organizations, societies, trusts, which are registered under Central or State Government Act or WAKF boards shall be eligible to apply for assistance under these schemes. Only those voluntary agencies which have been in existence for three years will be considered for assistance under the scheme. Such voluntary organizations should have a proper constitution of articles of association, have a properly constituted managing body with its powers and duties clearly defined in the constitution, be in a position to secure an involvement on voluntary basis of knowledgeable persons for furtherance of their programs, not be run for the profit of any individual or a body of individuals, not discriminate against any person or group of persons on the ground of language or sex, etc., not function for the furtherance of the interests of any political party, not in any manner incite communal disharmony, have to submit the updated statement of accounts for all the granted aids received by them from central state governments for the preceding one year duly certified.